If you're a fisherman here in the state of Kentucky, Rod, you're probably one of their best friends and they don't even know you because a lot of the fish species we have here in the state of Kentucky, you help produce. We raise largemouth bass, muskie, crappie, and striped bass, hybrid striped bass. So a lot of the species that are raised, you, you guys go out with a shocking boat, do your normal testing and studies that you do on a year-to-year -year basis, and you take some of those fish as brood stock and take them back to the hatchery, right? That's correct. Today we're going after a pretty cool fish. We're gonna go out and collect musky brood stock out of the uh, tailwaters below Cave Run Lake. Uh, we collect these uh, fish every year. The electro fishing boat has uh, wire drops on the front of the boat. We run a generator and once we flip it on, it puts a current in the water and it has a field emitted out in front of the boat and it'll temporarily shock the fish and we're able to dip them up. There you go. We got him a good one right there. We take them back to the hatchery and then we spawn them and then we return them to the, to the tailwaters once we're done. There on the bottom. What a beautiful fish. That's probably the other one you saw. <laughs> 32 inch female. And what's the range again that we're trying to? That's a little on the small end. Okay. But, uh, sometimes these uh, smaller females give us a decent quantity of eggs as well. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take them. All right, a male and a female. You think, oh, the bigger the better. That's not always the case for viable eggs, is it? Uh, that's correct. Uh, sometimes once you get above that 46, 47 inch range, the egg quality goes downhill substantially. There's one right there. Right at the boat ramp. Yep. Look at that nice fish sitting right on the boat ramp. You know, every fisherman launches their boat, has to run to the other end of the lake, start fishing. <laughs> <laughs> we got a male or female there. 35 inch female. Okay. So to keep these fish in the absolute best health we can, the best thing for us to do is to unload these as soon as we can. So we've caught three in about five minutes. We're gonna offload these fish and get these over to the hatchery and, and get back at it again. Lucky right on the bank. Now can we get in there? Smart fish. <laughs> There's a big reason we do this. And the reason is that here in the state of Kentucky, musky reproduction on their own is, is not very strong, is it? No, no, there's very little natural reproduction. So if it wasn't for the fish hatchery producing these fish, we, we really wouldn't have a population of musky to fish for in the state of Kentucky. That's correct. Well, there it is. Can we pin it? I tried, no, I tried to shove it into yours. The reason you do this time of year is because they're naturally producing their eggs this is the time of year, right? Yes, they naturally move up in the tailwater area and then uh, it makes it easy for us to collect them and take them back to the hatchery and spawn them. How many muskie are produced there at Minor Clark each year? Uh, we typically stock out the door uh, around 10 to 20,000 muskie each year. They go to uh, three or four major reservoirs and uh, several streams throughout the state of Kentucky. You got it. Nice. Oh gosh, it's a good one there. That's the biggest one we've had so far today. Okay, now we're gonna take the fish, get the head in the bag first. Those teeth got her mouth open. Yep. We'll measure them. So it's a 41 and a half inch female. Then we're gonna do a hole punch to indicate that it came from the river. So we know it's a female, we know the length, and it's been marked. So it's now time to get her back into the live well here for safe transportation. How many will it take to get your 10 or 20,000? Typically we'll spawn anywhere from 12 to 25 females each year. Okay. Let's swing that one around real quick. 39 inch female. There you go, that's right in the wheelhouse for what you're looking for, right? You said up to 46. All right. This is the big one here. Gosh. That's a lot of fish. That is a lot of fish. Hold her nose there on the board. All right, come forward just a hair. 44. 44. It's definitely a female. I'll clip her and then we'll grab the back. That was really cool.
we're just a mile or two away and uh, we've got this holding pond here at the at Minor Clark Fish Hatchery. And the reason for this pond is for us to uh, release these fish and you can pick them up and not have to hold them for a long period of time until right before eggs, right? Yes, that's correct. So we're gonna release these fish in here and then how long will they be in here before you remove them and actually take the eggs? At this point, uh, in about a month, and we'll remove the fish and uh, inject them and uh, check for eggs then. So here it's all about just keeping them contained, well fed, allow them eggs to produce and get closer to the maturity date and then you can come and take them out. And then after you pull the eggs, will they come back to recover or do you immediately take them right back to where we got them this morning uh, out of the river? We allow them to recover and uh, we'll put them in an acre pond and they're allowed to recover for about three weeks and then we'll put them back in the tailwaters. All these fish will be, then we'll be back right where we took them from. Yes, that's correct. All right, well let's get them back into the water and uh, We'll say goodbye for a couple weeks, huh? <laughs> really, really cool experience. And I'll tell you, next time I catch a muskie, I'll be sure to think about you and your crew because obviously it wouldn't happen without your all's hard work. So thanks a lot. I hope all the muskie fishermen out there protect those fish and uh, remember that, you know what? This is a great resource we have, but it takes a lot of hard work from our fish and wildlife staff to make it happen. Thanks a lot. Anytime.